Okay, year 10. Uh, the next uh, section you need to do on the functions and relations of the cubics. Now, your standard cubic, um, and we're not going to do one that has, has any lumps. The standard cubic, we're just going to move it via uh, adding and subtracting things with the X and Y. So we're not going to get any harder than that. So our standard cubic, um, and I'll just get up a, oh, no, I've got one here. What am I doing? My standard cubic looks like that. That's our standard cubic. That's our standard positive cubic. The standard negative cubic just goes the other way. And I'll give you a better demonstration because we can look on Desmos. So if we go y equals y equals x cubed, you can see it there. And if we zoom in, you can see it much better. And if I just put a negative in front of this, now remember you can do this for any of the functions that you've got. There's a negative cubic. Now we can get a cubic with uh, lumps in it. So when I say lumps, so plus 2x squared, like that. And all of a sudden we've got two lumps and different things. We're not going to do any of those. We're just going to be moving the standard cubic. So let's have a look at what we've got. And here's the main thing. Now, on our standard cubic, we have something that's called a point of inflection. And that's where the curve change, changes concavity. So, for example, my standard cubic, that's concave, oh, sorry. My standard cubic, that's concave down. And then all of a sudden it changes and becomes concave up. So this section is concave down. And then there comes a point where it stops being concave down and becomes concave up. And that point, that critical point, is called the point of inflection, where the curve changes concavity. So over here, our point of inflection is at zero, zero. Now in a cubicle, in a cubicle, in a cubic with a critical point, PI and HK, we can write it like that. All right? Where A determines the width. So you know that A is going to pay, play with the um, with the, the steepness of the curve. So let's go back to Desmos and just have a look at what that does. So if we write y minus k, we're going to add all sliders, so I'm just going to put an a, x minus h, all cubed, which is the version that we want. Now, watch what happens when we play with a. Right, steeper, steeper, and when it goes negative, it turns the other way. All right, so let's let A be 1, just a standard, so I'll move that to 1. All right, come on. Now, if I set k to zero, and I h to zero, there's our standard cubic. Now, if I want to move the curve up and down, that's going with the y. So if I move it, and I start playing this, you can see that the curve, and I'll just, just moves up and down. It moves vertically. All right, so I'll set that again to zero. So it's at the vertex, uh, at the origin. Now the H moves it left and right. Okay. 
The H moves it left and right. Now, if I hit both of them together, and you can see it's moving all about. The K is moving it up and down, and H is moving it left and right. Get a bit of a circular pattern going there. Okay. So, let's go back to what we're doing here. So, when we look at these, really, I would prefer, I would prefer that two to be over the other side. So, I would prefer this to be written as y plus two equals x cubed. But if I write it like that, this is pretty easy as well because all this means is I've got the same curve above but I'm moving it down too. So I'm just going to do this curve here and do you remember it just moved and I've moved down 2. So this is negative 2. But how do I find this point? Well that point I have to let y equal 0. So if 0 equals x cubed minus 2. I'll take the 2 over here. 2 equals x cubed, and I'll cube root it. And I get the cube root of 2. So that value is a cube root of 2. So that's pretty easy. This one over here is just the negative curve above, just this curve moved up one. So it's going to be, so I've just moved it up one. So that point is one. How do I find this point? Again, I just put y equals zero. Zero equals negative x cubed plus one. I'll take the x cubed over the other side. x cubed or, and equals one. x equals the cube root of 1. And the cube root of 1 is 1. So that's just 1. So that's as hard as they're going to get, except when you go here. Now, why don't you have a go at these on your own? This time in, okay, so assuming you've had a go on your own and you couldn't do it, this time I'm moving it left and right with the x. Now, which way am I moving it? Well, if you want to work that out, you just got to say, well, what do I need to put in there to make that zero, which is one. So this is going to move to the right. So this is going up there. And if you're ever unsure, to find this point, and I've drawn this really badly, so I'm going to draw it again because the scale is pretty poor, because I already know where it goes through. And it doesn't go through the distance that I had it. So, what's this value? Well, it's the y-intercept. So I'm just going to let, so let x equals 0. And I'm going to get y equals 0 minus 1 cubed, which equals minus 1 cubed. And if I put that in my calculator, I get minus 1. So that's minus 1. What about this one? I want you to go away and have a go at it, but we're moving it in the y and we're moving it in the x. And you have to be careful here and think about it. So what's it going to be? Well, we already know that the x minus 1 moves it to the right. But what does this do? Well, what makes that y equal 0? Negative 1. So it's moved to the right and down 1. If I move that one over here, it would become minus one. All right? So it's moved down and to the right. So the vertex, the point of inflection is here. So it's there. Now, that point and that point, how do we find them? Just let x and y equal zero. So let x equals 0, and we get y plus 1 equals negative 1 cubed 
y plus 1 equals negative 1 minus 1, y equals negative 2. Oh, that's negative 2. So my scale's really poor. Let y equal 0. Oh, 0 plus 1 equals x minus 1 cubed. And what do I do? 1 equals x minus 1 cubed. Let's cube root that 1. Cube root of 1 equals x minus 1. Cube root of 1 is 1. x minus 1. Uh, oh, add the 1 over. 2. x. Oh, look at that. Sweet. That's cubics. We're not going to have any lumpy ones. And remember, if you're using Desmos, you can always check it. And... Um, You can move it in the X, you can move it in the Y. And that's a big thing for you to learn today. The A plays with the steepness. The, e, the, sorry, the H moves it with left or right, and the K moves it up or down. If you get that understanding, you're going to be so good for Year 11 Advanced Mathematics, which is what this whole course is aimed at. Anyway, hopefully that solved some of your issues. If you're having trouble with the cubic, the only other one we've got to do before the end of term is the circle. But you see if you can nail the cubic. Remember, keep playing on Desmos and check your solutions with the solutions which are located, which are located, remember they're located on our web page. Where's our elective? Here we go. Remember, they're located on our web page, the solutions down here. See there? There's a blank book in case you didn't take it home and you just want to download it or and then there's the solutions. Anyway, keep working.